Citizenship Day and Temperance Day. Hi, boys and girls. Good morning. Happy Friday. Woo! It's Friday. It's Friday, Mrs. Bull. Mrs. Bull's out here getting ready for crossing guard duty. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, January 14th, 2022. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. As you can see, we're getting ready to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, tomorrow would be, have been his birthday, and then we will celebrate and honor him on Monday. We'll have the day off of school, but it is to honor Dr. King and his legacy of civil rights, equal rights for everybody. Humankind, we're all humans. We all deserve to be treated equally, and that was really his message. His message was all, also a lot about love and understanding, and basically, it is about protest, but it's about peacefully protesting. He believed that you should protest, but you should do it peacefully and make change, and that's what he did. He learned a lot of his things from Mahatma Gandhi in India, who also did peaceful protests, um, and you can get far when you peacefully protest. Hey, today is Good Citizenship Day and Temperance Day in our state of Washington. What does that mean? Well, it's all about being a good citizen, and part of that is about voting. So today is a big day to talk to people about when you turn 18, you can vote. And that is one of the best things that you can do when you're an adult to make change. By voting, you vote for people. You vote for governors and presidents and legislators and judges, um, the people that make the laws, the people that interpret and um, decide the laws, constitutionality, all of those things, and then those that enforce the law. So that's what you do as part of government is you get to vote for people to represent you. Um, if you lived in a place where you didn't have representation, you'd have something like a king, right? Something, someone in authority. But in our country, we have a democracy and that means we have the right to vote. So when you turn 18, I hope you vote not only for people to help run our government, but also you vote for things like coming up in February, we have a vote in Monroe. People will get to vote and decide on whether we'll do our operations levy, which is coming up in February, and that is to provide funds for our schools. Um, you also have different uh, propositions that come up on the ballot uh, for different things that we want to take to the people and let the people vote. So sometimes the people vote for things, sometimes we vote for people to make laws and then they do those things for us. So that's really what Temperance and Good Citizenship Day is all about. But you're not 18, you can't vote yet, right? But keep that in mind when you do become 18, but there are things you can do as citizens. So today is Good Citizenship Day. What can you do today and every day to be a good citizen? Well, I can think of one thing and that is following the laws or the rules. When we do that and we all follow those things, then everybody is safer, everybody is happier, when we are able to follow the same um, rules and guidance and expectations. That's why we have those kinds of things at school. So being a good citizen is are following the guidelines, the expectations and the rules of our school, whether you're in the classroom, the hallways, the cafeteria eating, or you know the lunchroom, or you're out on the playground. Same thing in the neighborhood. A good citizen is somebody who like does not go on other people's property. They see trash, they pick up trash. Um, if they see something going on in the neighborhood that, that they think an adult should know about, they tell the adult I and mean, all of our neighbors coming in this morning. So that's what being a good citizen is all about. Also being a good citizen is also about um, what I call good trouble. John Lewis talked about that, good trouble. It's when you see something that doesn't seem right, it's okay to try and make a difference. And you make a difference by talking to people and making change. Even though you are only in elementary school, you have great ideas and you can help have change, not only at Frylands Elementary School, but in your community. Every person has the right to be part of change for the better. So keep that in mind. I want you to have a great Citizenship and Temperance Day as we lead into Dr. King's birthday on Monday. I also, thinking of Dr. King, it makes me think about next week, how can we honor Dr. King? You know what, he always believed in love and kindness. And so next week, we're gonna have Kindness Week. So starting next week, we'll be doing Kindness Week. Um, we'll start on Tuesday, because we're off for Dr. King's birthday. But on Tuesday, what we'll do, hi, Mrs. George, how you doing over there? On Tuesday, we'll start with our food drive. So all next week, 
Tuesday through Friday. We'd love for you to participate and be a citizen with us and let's do a food drive for members of our community and our neighbors through the Sky Valley Food Bank. We'll be doing a food drive. Good morning, sir. Good, morning. Good to see you. So we'll be doing a food drive next week. Bring in whatever items you can. Um, ask your family, of course, to participate. So we'll be doing a, a food drive as part of our kindness week, spreading kindness. So besides that, we also are gonna be doing a lot of fun activities and talking about Dr. King, talking about how we can spread kindness, bucket filling, all kinds of fun things next week as part of Kindness Week. But you know what? Kindness Week should really be kindness every day. So let's be kind. Hi guys. Kids are getting ready to come to school. I better finish up, huh? We wanna be kind to each other. We wanna try and share love for each other. You know, we're all people. We all have feelings. We all have times where we don't uh, feel great and it'd be great if other people supported us during that time. So that's what kindness is all about. Filling each other's buckets and making each other feel good. Because I know when I spread kindness to others, it comes back to me. Hey, you know what? We've got some... Hey guys! It's good to see you. So we got a couple of birthdays to announce. Happy birthday today to Noah Strumbaugh. Then on Saturday, happy birthday to Ella Basher as well as happy birthday to Lucas Freeman and happy birthday to Dahlia Ross. And then on Sunday, happy birthday to Mrs. It's a loud truck. Happy birthday on Sunday to Mrs. BP. So those are our birthdays. We've got five birthdays this weekend, today and through Sunday, actually. Happy birthday to you. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket this morning. And on our lunch menu today, we have turkey hot dogs with french fries and then we have muffin yogurt and cheese fun lunch so we got a fun lunch or a turkey hot dog with french fries today on our lunch menu all right wow we got all kinds of cool things going on all right boys and girls let's have a great day of learning let's be kind to each other let's do what we can to spread kindness and love with each other because you know what there's nothing better than that all right as you can see on the sign no school on monday in honor of dr king so we think about Dr. King and all that he stood for. Let's set that same example with Good Citizenship Day today. And remember, our food drive starts on the 18th, the day we come back. All right, let's have a great day of learning, boys and girls. And always remember, your Freiland's family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We will see you soon. School's about to start. I hope you're on your way.